Meanwhile, further down the river, the floodwaters are not done rising yet, and many parts of Prairie du Chien are being taken over by the Mississippi. Our own Dua Esrar is live from PDC in the water herself. Dua, what are you seeing? Ken, I thought my boots were waterproof. Spoiler alert, they weren't, so I went out and got a new, new pair just so that I could stand in the middle of the street and show you just how underwater we are right now. I myself am currently one foot underwater. This house behind me, its basement is six feet underwater, and that's why they have those white sandbags lining up that entrance, that front door entrance to prevent that water from rising and going to their first floor level. Now, volunteers have been filling those sandbags all day and distributing them to community members. That's why most of the community members that I spoke with today say that while all of this is unfortunate, they're grateful for those volunteers for stepping up. The high school all came yesterday. Um, they let all the kids get out, I think, at 11, and they got to come and volunteer, and they came on a bus and started sandbagging all the houses. So it was a really cool thing. Um, it was great for the community that they all got to come. Now volunteers filled up those sandbags yesterday and they spent those today filling up those sandbags as well and they say that they'll continue to do that until those community requests are fulfilled and if someone is in need of additional sandbags they can send put in requests at the Crawford County Emergency or Chamber of Commerce actually I should say. Now from where I'm standing the water is expected to rise several inches more by tomorrow because in Prairie du Chien, we haven't reached the peak or also known as the crest. And actually there is a car coming by right behind me right now. So those water levels will get higher. And I think I might, my feet might be underwater. We're gonna try this, check it. Do you wanna roll over there? Oh man, oh man, <laughs> yep. Yep. My, I am totally drenched, totally drenched. That water is completely in my <laughs> boots. Reporting live in Prairie du Chien. Do us rar for News 8 now. Ken, back to you. Do wow, my toes are cold. <laughs> Dua, we appreciate you being out there. Thank you so much. Now, uh, in addition to what Dua reported tonight, some roads in PDC are closed to stop people from driving towards the water. We assume, of course, that pickup truck uh, lives in the immediate area where Duo was reporting. Now, emergency management uh, reports of closures are impacting some businesses, but it is a necessary precaution.